So configuring the system, file system information. So this is a good idea to use this. And you can see we've got our various um, IDs for partitions. I'm not interested in this down here. This is the boot hardware. We're interested in these three here. So this is all about creating FS tabs. So what I'm going to do is to get this in a separate terminal. And let's just put this here for the moment. Can I make this rejoin? I can't, can I? So I'll go to use Vi again. Now I've got that installed. And of course, I'm not in the truth. So, VI ETC. Okay, so we've got some hints here. Various ways of doing this. DOS legacy system, the UFI system, so that's what we need to adapt. So let's put it under all this, start afresh. Um, yeah, we can copy this. I haven't got a CD-ROM, but I'll stick that in here anyway, because I might plug in a, an external one. So this is not SDA1. Um, let's use the... UUIDs, this is using the DPS part UUIDs, so my concern with this is if you've got more than one partition, well I guess you wouldn't have more than one with the root FS, um, although you might do if you've got multiple installations on the same disk, that's possible, so what we can use though is the um, output, uh, no is it block ID, from this. So we can put in UID equals, well, basically, um, this one here, because this is the first partition, this is where the EFI is. I guess we could try these actually, part UID. Well, let's try it because I've never done it before. It may mean that it might not boot if I've done something else wrong, but there's no harm in it. So this is not the actual UUID of the partition is the UUID that describes the type of partition. So this is describing this code is describing the fact that this is the um, the FI partition. Likewise, the next one is describing the fact that this is a swap partition. So these would be the same for any system that you built. It's describing the type of partition, not the actual partition ID. So, for example, the UUID for this particular installation for partition 2 is start CC1F, but the UUID for a swap partition on any system is that number there. So, that's what this is doing. And let's do the same for the last one. So it does mean that everything is pretty standard. In fact, I could probably just copy all of that in as it was. Let's just take these out a little bit. And 
that should remain the same. So double check it and save and continue. So it looks all right to me. Won't find out until we test it. So host name, let's give it a name. Um, of course, AEC. Networking. So I don't want DHCPD. We've just got rid of it in fact. So net I F R C for open R C. So this is forcing it in to not be removed at any time by adding it to the world file. Then edit the config.net. And add it some static information. So this is where I'm going to put in my network adapter name that I noted before because I'll be using the real adapter name rather than the made up ETH01 in case for some reason I decide to have another adapter card put in. Is that 0S31F6? I think that's right. I should check that. IPA. Yeah, there it is. Probably best to copy and paste. Make sure I type it in correctly. Oh, I pasted it in the wrong place. Oh, I see. Oh, it's because I've got insert on. Right. Let's try that again. That's better. And I need to set the IP address. So I'll give this an address of say 200. And the rest of that's fine. And that looks like the routing is via the gateway. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Now I've got a um, wireless uh, interface you saw. So that would normally go in here as well if I wanted an IP address for that. But I'm not going to be using that at this time. Save that. As it says there, if you've got more than one, um, we'll need to add shortcuts for each one of these, but I'm going to only be using one. So ln net zero to net dot, not ETH zero, but this number here. And then make sure that that starts up when the machine is started. So that's done. Host file. Um, sorry, that should be pasted in. So there are the local addresses. I'll just add in my own addresses here. So don't use IPv6, so I'll comment that one out. And put in the name of this machine. So aec.mynet.org. So it's the local name plus the domain the local name by itself and an alias of local host and I can also put in other IP addresses down here if I so wish so 
set the root password. Um, this don't normally need to do anything with this, but I suggest you look at it and enjoy it and review the settings. So there's lots of settings in there, lots of comments as well. Um, but I don't think I've ever had to modify anything in there at all. Key maps, so I need to change the key map that will be in use. So defaults to US, I need to change mine to UK. Nothing else to set here. Hardware clock. The clock set to UTC, so I don't need to change that. It's not being shared with Windows. If you want to use the hardware clock script to set this system time, software clock to match current hardware clock during boot up, leave this commented out. Okay, that sounds good. Yep, the defaults are good. Save that. Skip over system D. 